Hello and a warm welcome to the debuting episode of Triumph, a show that deeply resonates with the struggles and triumphs of Ugandan women. It's where the spotlight shines on the remarkable women who are holding the torch of change, resilience and empowerment. My name is Okelo Shara Nagenjwa. Today's episode spotlights a story that proves that within every struggle lies the seed of greatness. From a banana hawker to a community leader, Honorable Florence's journey of empowerment is an ode to the power of a single individual to drive meaningful change and create a legacy that echoes through time. Florence, Hi. thank you so much for joining me today Amen. and the entire team of Triumph. Mm. Take me back to your journey, but first, mm. <laughs> introduce yourself a <laughs> little. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I'm very glad to meet you. My name is Asira Florence. Mm. I come from Northern Uganda. I reached in Kampala here in 2005 when my husband got a job in tight security. So he came here and took like one and three months, one year and three months. Then he called me to stay with him. I came here, at the time when I'm coming here, I was a tailor in Kitigo. I have my kasaran. I'm doing some repair and some new clothes in a small center. Okay. Yeah, so the moment I reached here, I got him working in the tight, but he's earning a little amount. Tell me about your arrival in Kampala. My arrival in Kampala, I bought a, a, a a badge. I reach here, I was very happy. If I reach Kampala, Kampala, my life will change. I hope maybe my husband will stay in an apartment, in a big grouper. Yeah, so I came. The moment I reach here, he welcomed me in a bus park. He said, my darling, you're most welcome. He said, I'm fine. So he said, now we are taking you home. He said, where are yeah, just be patient. He shall take you to bus, taxi park. Then we get a taxi park. We take you home. Your transport to home. How did you think it was going to be like? I think maybe we shall be in an aeroplane. Yeah, from Kam Kigum to Kampala, I bought a, a bus. Mm -hmm. Then I hope maybe if I reach here in Kampala, I will be in an aeroplane to take me home, because Kampala is a, a different life from where we came from. Mm. So I reach here. Then my husband is telling me. Let us pack all our things. We go to bus park, mm. taxi park. And I said, yeah, taxi park? Mm. Me, I think maybe airplane is coming to pick me here. Then in my heart, <laughs> I kept quiet. So we reached there in the taxi park, old taxi park. Mm. We enter in the taxi park. We paid 500 to take you. Mm. And I said, yeah, my husband. I think maybe airplane is going to take us. He said, no, not airplane. This is the taxi we are going to use to go home. Mm. Yeah. We take the journey to home. We reach home. Then he escorted me, take me inside where he's living. Mm. I got the thing is very different. Mm. I hope maybe I said, mm, this is the life I'm going to continue again. Mm. And yet the house I left in the village is almost the same with this one. Mm. Well, me, I hope maybe my husband is going to take me in an apartment. Mm. This is the apartment, really. And I asked him, I said, my husband, this is the place you are living. He said, yes, this is the place you are living. I said, ah, it is okay, no mm. problem. Mm. Yeah, then. We go. Okay. Mm. So how did you start the banana hawking? So to make me to start banana hawking, because I got him working. In the village, I was also working. A day I can get something small. Yes. Yes. The moment I reached here, I mm. finished like a week. Mm. Then life wasn't easy. How much were you getting a day in the village? In the village a day I can make 20, 15, 30, mm. you know, mm. business just like that. Yes. Yeah, it cannot be stable. Mm. Yeah, I can make that amount. But at least here I feel it's a week without seeing any money. But my husband is giving me just 5,000 mm. a day for my feeding. 
then out of that 5,000, I use it mm. until I have my kabok. I use 2,000 mm. because seeing is not expensive like this day. Mm. Uh, a day I can use 2,000. Mm. See the thousand, I put it in my kabok. I have kabok inside my mm. house. Mm. I said, even my mom is happy. Your savings box. My saving box. Mm. Even my mom is happy. My, my dad is now in Kampala. The time she's coming back, she will buy for me a very good gift for me. Mm. And I said, out of this 5,000, let me use it. I have, I keep, I use a half. I can use a day 2,000. 3,000, I put it in my kabok, saving box. Mm. Yeah. To make me to join vending, I finished a week without seeing any money. My husband is giving me 5,000. And I said, now, is this 5,000 for the whole of my life, Oba? Mm. No, this is not a life. I cannot make it to be like that. Mm. Then I look at my fellow neighbors, my fellow women. They are doing that vending. Mm. They are selling bananas. They are going early in the morning. They are coming back at late time. Mm. Yeah. So I asked them, I said, my dear, I need some advice from you. I'm seeing you going every day. Where are you going? Mm. And you are coming back with something small in mm. your pocket. What are you doing? They told me, Madam, this one you cannot make it. For us, we are selling banana. Mm. I said, Where are you selling? Where are you buying this banana? They told, that, they told me, But this banana we are buying from Nakawa. Mm. I said, Please, I want to join you. Will you manage to make this? I said, I'm a woman like you. Please guide me. Mm. I want to go and do this business. Because I tried. Yes. also to look for the job mm. like a cleaner mm. i moved like two city days i couldn't make it mm. because they need educated people even a cleaner even a cleaner they said we need people of senior four or senior six mm. maybe i reach at the big office they asked me like oh, that. Oh, you were asking for this job in offices yes, yes in the makes offices. sense yes. yeah so they asked me oh we need the they just leave for senior four, for senior six. And I said, ah, like this thing for me, I don't have. Mm. And they said, if you don't have, we cannot. Dip. You are not educated. Yeah, you, I mean, maybe you cannot make it. Because so you are not educated. I educated, but I went in technical um. certificate. I have technical certificate in junior oh, level. From P7, you went straight to technical. Yeah, I went straight okay. to technical. Okay. So the moment I failed to get a job, I came to my husband. When my, as, when my fellow women told me, you cannot make it, I said, no, I will make it. Then they said, it's okay, if you want to join us, you go and talk to your husband, if he could give you a small amount of money, so we shall guide you where necessary, then you will be able to begin. Yes. I came back to my husband, said my husband, I saw my, my friends, they are doing this work of banana selling. Mm. So I want to join them because yesterday, two days ago, I tried to look for the job here as you directed me to look mm. for something to do, but I failed to get it. I'm seeing those of my fellow ladies, they are doing this business. Okay. I hope maybe I will make it also. Okay. Let me begin life like that. I hope in future, change will change. Yes. Then he said, it's okay. I said, I said, if possible, can you give me like 5,000? Give me 8,000. So the next day, he gave me that 8,000. I picked 3,000, I gave to my friends to go and buy for me this thing for curry banana. Uh -huh. Then 5,000, I kept it for my capital. Then the next day, those fellow women brought for me that thing. Mm. We call it a shop mm. because we pack our banana, then we carry it. Okay. Yeah, so when they gave me all that kafan, then I told my husband, today I'm going to begin my business. Mm. It is okay, safe journey, I wish you the best. Mm. Yeah, then we wake up early at around 5. We went to Nakawa, we buy banana, so we take tea, after finish taking tea, then they say, let's go. Then I said, where ya? Then those women said, we are going to move. But then I said, hey, for me, I know that maybe we are going to sell it here. I said, madam, no, we are vendors. We are going to carry all those things on our head. We shall move the whole round Kampala. Then I said, eh, huh? madam, <laughs> are you true? <laughs> I said, yes. I said, ah, it is okay, so long as I'm a a woman of energy, I will make it. Yeah, we carry the banana. Uh, on your head. On my head. And you moved. We start moving. Well, from humble beginnings, Florence's path was far from easy. Arriving in Kampala with dreams in her heart and bananas in her hands, she embarked on a journey that would shape her destiny. Florence's story continues after a short commercial break.
Welcome back from that short break for those who have just joined us. This week we're celebrating the triumphant story of Honorable Florence, who not only changed her life, but also transformed her community and beat the odds from being a banana hawker to a beacon of hope for her community. So Florence, mm. at what point did you realize you can actually make a difference in your community? My point to make me to change my life and to become a, a, a leader in the community, through the challenges I was been getting in the street, the day we I begin my business, we met some officer in the street. They are confiscating our mass and die. They arrested us. They took us even up to Lujira. I asked my fellow women, I said, who is these people? Who is arresting? And they said, this is KTCA, Kampala Capital City Authority. I said, now, why are they arresting us? They said, they, they are arresting us. They are saying the law is not allowed as we vendors to do this business. I said, why are we not a Ugandan? I'm a citizen of Uganda. Why are they saying this thing? Mm -hmm. No, we have to fight for this, for our right. We are mm. women of Uganda. I have my right in my hand. I can't speak. Then I organized my fellow women. I said, please, let's come and sit down. And we see way forward. We came and sit down in a few number of 10 women. We said, now nah, we want to fight and we want to know why these people are doing all those things in us. Let us form a group. And we make, at least, we come in one voice to see that we have to fight this law saying that we are not supposed to do this business of vending. Uh -huh. We came and sat down, we started a group. We start a small saving of 1,000. I take a lead. I met some group leaders. They told, I asked them, I said, please, I need your guideline. We have a, our group also, like uh, women street vendors. We need also to reach at your extent. What way can we follow? Mm. Then that person guided me. If you need to register your group, you go to Nakawa. You register on a community-based organization. Over you register on a cooperative. If you want to register an a cooperative, you go to Ministry of Trade and Cooperative, they will guide you. Mm. If you want to register an a community-based organization, you go to Nakawa, they will guide you. Mm. And I said, mm, let me go on a cooperative. Mm. I took myself, I sat down and told my fellow women, I said, let us register this group, Anna. Naguru Small Scale Traders and Vendors Cooperative. We collected all the requirements. Requirement. Yes. Yeah, we finished everything. I took the things back. Then they gave us the certificate. Yes. And a Nagur small scale traders and vendors cooperative. Then you started the savings. Then we started the savings. I said, I want to see the government in this group. Now, mm. how do you become woman counselor for Naguru? We had you all the way from Kitsko. <laughs> 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 to become a woman counselor of Naguru. Mm. The moment we got a certificate, Anna, that is Naguru small scale traders and vendors cooperative. Yes. Then my women say it. In this 2021 election, hey. Florence, we look at you like a someone. Mm. If we put our trust on you, you will send our voice to make government to come and meet us here yes. in the grassroots. Mm. So we are giving you this opportunity to come and stand with us as a woman councillor city of Naguru too. Uh -huh. And I said, ah, my friend, will I manage? They said, yes, you will manage. Mm. So the moment when they told me that issue, I went back, my, my, I went back home to my husband. I told him the message. Then my husband said, yes, it's okay. If women are trusted you, also you take that trust. Mm. Yeah, you take an action on it. You know, you never know what God will do in mm. your life. Mm. So they look something in, in you that you can make different in their life. Yes. That's why they told you to go and be a candidate of this area. Okay. You're such a remarkable woman. Uh, most of the time when people come here, they are different, it's, it's different situations. Uh, they're not that brave and confident mm. to gather people, to women together, make a group and yeah. move forward and yeah. transform their lives. Mm. But what you have done is not only transform your life, but also the life of the community. So for other women out there who might be uh, in your, in your situation, they probably come from different parts of Uganda mm. uh, with dreams and hopes to make it in Kampala or to make it in another part of the world which is not, which is not Kampala. Mm. What message do you have for that woman? So uh, according to me, what my fellow women has trusted me, they have given trust on me. Now I go through what they have told me. Yes. So now I'm a woman can Salasiri of Nagurutubi, mm. Paris. 
my life has changed. Mm. Yeah, my life has changed. Even my family is okay. Uh, I went back to school also. You did? Uh, yes, I went back to school. I want to get a certificate of senior four. I'm going to sit for this year. You are? Yes. So in the community, it is a, a lot I've done. I created, I transformed their life. Through uh, yeah? skilling program, uh -huh. I transformed the life of 100 women through skilling program. Hmm. They did tailoring, hairdressing, shoemaking. I gave even tool to them. Those who did tailor, tailoring, they have got tailoring machine. Mm. Those who have done hairdressing, I've got a thing for the air saloon. Mm. Those who have done bakery, they have got the oven. Yes. So I'm also fighting for some youths also to be involved. Mm. Yeah, very recently I'm going to gather also youths. I want to transform the life of youth also. Wow. So my community love me. I love them also. Mm. Through my story, I have many opportunities to, to stand with my okay. group. So what is the message to the other women out there who are not in your community, but they are watching this story right now? So my message to my fellow women who is watching this story, we women of Uganda, let's stand on our feet. In any challenges you are going through, don't lose hope. You focus on what you are doing. Do things which can make change in your life. Mm. If you are seeing things is not making change, just leave. Yes. Let us focus in learning. Like other learning, DC, skilling learning. Yeah, it can transform our life. Wow. So that is my message to my fellow women who is watching DC program. Okay. Mm. Wow. Florence, you are such an inspiration. You are such you're the kind of women I like I like to talk to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank well, you there you had it from Florence. To help us understand the ins and outs of starting small and accelerating the growth of your business and leadership, we are joined by the Honorable Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Betty Amongi Akena. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Florence, uh, who from the rural setting, with courage, came to Kampala, joined the husband, and found these neighbors who did not have startup, who did not have information, who did not have the infrastructure to support their businesses. With her leadership skills, she managed to bring them together. So in businesses, especially for women in slums, because in cities we have slums, and most of the women in the slums are sometimes wives of drivers, wives of people who are cleaning on the streets, transporters who are in the transport sector. They literally do not have fast capital. So the leadership, the collective bargain that uh, uh, Florence had to bring them together as a group became one of the most powerful tools to support them the collective coming together became powerful in supporting them to come as a cooperative. So this shows you that out there, there are very many women whom when supported and given information and given opportunity, they can thrive. In the gender inclusive financial services, we look at the common user facility. In the context of these people who do not even have money to start their business, how do we support them? First, to have a startup. Secondly, to have a common user facility. And third, the voice. And that's why you see, as a government policy, throughout the country, on the roadsides, we've built the stalls for women to sell their products. And in those stalls, you will find a woman has a very small space selling tomatoes, selling onions, carrots, because we understand that such categories of women do not have enough money. But when they come collectively, they will occupy the common space that makes them and allows them to sell common uh, products that complement each other. Under our new program of GROW, we are going to support 
many markets within Kampala metropolitan areas like Nakawa Market, where we shall build stalls, build common user facility, support them with very low interest rates of loans and credit facility that will support such women to come into the forefront of the microfinance and business development services. Florence's journey serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us all that even the smallest actions can ignite waves of change that touch lives and transform communities. From me, Okelo Sharon Naganger, and the rest of the Triumph team, goodbye and see you next weekend.